Hello and welcome to the Photography and Videography channel. I'm Nadja Cooper and today I'm going to be demonstrating the correct way to take a white balance reading and an exposure reading using one of these gadgets. This is basically a grey slash white card. It's a small fold away portable one that just folds up and goes into a pouch like this. This is a colour confidence one. It comes with a small instruction sheet that shows you the correct way of using it. Um, what I'm going to do, I will put a link in the description below for one of these as well. They're only about £20, but with many cheaper photographic items, certain things are prone to being copied. Now, I wouldn't want you to buy a cheap imitation one because the white side might not be pure white. It might be slightly off-white or even cream in colour. And more importantly, the grey side for the exposure might not be 18% mid-tone grey. It might be slightly darker or slightly lighter than this. Now, the reason that you'd want to use a grey card for taking an exposure reading is because the camera's metering system is set in such a way that everything the camera sees, it assumes is going to be 18% grey, which is halfway between black and white. But we all know that in real life this isn't the case because, for example, if you're a landscape photographer and you're taking a landscape shot, the sky is going to be considerably brighter than 18% grey, unless it's a very overcast and stormy day, for example, but generally the sky is a lot lighter than this. Likewise, in the ground area, there might be certain things that are darker than 18% grey, such as a lake, a very deep lake, it might come out like the water slightly black. So the only way you can make sure that the camera is going to give you a correct reading is by using one of these and setting the camera's metering system to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly show you how that works. So I'm going to turn this to face me a little bit. Okay, so to take the white balance reading, I simply point the camera at the grey card, as you can see here. And as you can see in the Sony camera, the grey card is filling the screen. So what I do is I'm just going to push my custom white balance button and we've got all the usual custom white balance settings here for automatic white balance, outdoor, indoor, etc. But if you scroll down to the bottom, we have these custom ones, custom one, two, three and set. So I go into set and then I push the center button and then I push it again. And that will actually take all the information off the grey card and then I can basically choose which setting I want to apply that to. So if I basically choose custom setting one, I push the center button and now I've taken a correct white balance reading. So that's basically how you take the white balance reading using the grey side. So I'm now going to turn the grey card around so it's basically on the white side and do the same thing again. Now, what I'm going to do here is, if I just basically put the camera into full manual mode and then adjust the exposure here to um, bring that exposure down. Oops, gone the wrong way there. As you can see, I've got zebra stripes, so that is correctly exposed. But then if I basically change that shutter speed from 1 40th and start to go up, it shows the zebras. So I want to bring it down so there's no zebra stripes on the white side when I take the white balance reading. So if I now go into my custom white balance setting again and go down to set, push the middle button, push it again. And then what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to basically set that to position number two. Now, if I go to my readings here for my custom settings, um, you can see that number three is way off because I haven't set that. That's kind of looking a little bit pinkish. But number two and number one are exactly the same. You can see at the bottom here, they're both 4,500K. Now, if I basically take a reading with it overexposed, so what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to bring all the zebra stripes on and just go way over exposed like this and then go into my custom setting, go into set, try and take a reading off this it will do it. But what I want to show you here is if I just press the play button, well first let me just set this into three. Now if I basically go back to my custom settings, um, number one is 4,500k, number two is 4,500k, but number three is a little bit off. Now the reason that's off is if I press the um, play button here to show you the images that I've just taken, uh, right, this one here on the grey side, you can see on the histogram that the red, green and blue are all stacked up and lined up perfectly horizontally. 
that means I've got a perfect white balance reading. Now, if the image was going to be overexposed like this one is, as you can see by the red, green and blue channels, they're stacked up at the extreme right hand edge of the histogram. So there might be some other detail outside of this that you can't see that isn't accurate. So unlike this image, you can see that they're all stacked up one on top of the other. They're all perfectly lined up, which means you've got a perfect white balance. Whereas on the overexposed image, you don't know if they are because a lot of it is going outside the range of the histogram. So that's why a lot of people basically say that you should only ever use the gray side for taking white balance readings. But as long as when you take a white balance reading with the white card that you actually underexpose it by half a stop, or like I said, turn your zebras on like so at 100% and then just bring the exposure down like I am here. You can see that I've got it at f1.8, 1 of a second. So I'm just gonna basically bring that down to 1 of a second so the zebras disappear. Now that is perfectly all right for taking a white balance reading. So that brings us to the end of this video presentation. This is the Color Confidence white slash gray collapsible card. Now just as a tip, you can actually use the white side as a portable reflector. So it is in fact three in one. You've got the gray card for checking your exposure and setting your exposure accurately. You've got the white side for checking the white balance and setting your white balance. And you can also use the white side as a reflector too. I'll put a link in the description below for the genuine one. Like I said, it's only £20 and I think it's invaluable for any photographer. And also, even if you're a videographer, you can use it too because the same method for taking exposure readings is also used and you can use the white side for checking your zebras too. I'm Nigel Cooper. This is a photography and videography channel. And as usual, I hope to see you again real soon.